Hey guys, it's Aaron. Today I want to take a look at making quick and dirty animations using nothing but scenes. So to clarify before we begin, I'm talking about taking an object and making it look like it's moving from one state to another state using just animations. This isn't going to be complex animation. There, there are extensions out there like Animator um, that will actually take items and make them roll or move and make multiple items move as you go through uh, an animation. This is, like I said, quick and dirty. So this is, I want something in one state and then I want it to move to a different state. We're going to see how that works right now. All right, so I have this little ghost trap we created during a live model. And uh, for, for these purposes, I've grouped everything together except for the two doors. What I want to do is I want to create two states. I want to create a state where I look at these doors closed and then quickly and easily flip them open. Um, and it's, it's going to be that simple. So I'm going to do this with scenes. So if I come in here and look at my scenes, I don't have any scenes right now. Um, I'm also going to want to look at my tags. So I'm going to expand those two windows. I have no tags other than, you know, my untag where everything lives. And then I have no scenes currently. So I'm going to start by creating two tags. I'm going to call them really simply open. I'm searching. Hold on. Open and closed. So now I have two scenes. So I'm going to start by taking these two doors as they exist right now. I'm going to say edit. I'm going to copy them. So all I did right there is I put it in on the clipboard, right? So they, they exist on the clipboard. I'm going to come in here to these two. And you know what I'll do? I'll make this simple on myself. I'm going to grab this whole thing and I'm just going to temporarily hide it. I'm going to grab this door right here. I'm going to go to rotate. I'm going to find the center of this square right here. Come down from the middle here, from the middle over here, and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. Same thing here. Select this one, rotate it. I want to rotate from the center of this square. There. So I've just now rotated both those 90 degrees. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of these and I'm going to say entity info, put those on the open tag. And then I can turn that off. Let's say edit, unhide my ghost trap. All right. So now if I have open turned on, my ghost trap is open. If I have open turned off, there's nothing. Remember that copy I just did? If I say edit, paste in place right now, my doors come back and they're selected and I can just go to tag, put that on the closed tag. So now with closed on, my ghost trap shut, turn closed off and open on, my ghost trap's open. So, all right, so right now, two clicks to switch between them. Not ideal, but let's, uh, this is where we're gonna use our scenes down here. All right, so what I want to do is I want to create a scene. The only thing that's going to be in that scene is a toggle of tags. I'm going to create two, two toggles of tags. I like alliteration. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to say add a scene. But before I click plus at, to add that scene, I'm going to say, let me see some more info here. The only thing I want to talk about here is tag visibility. So I'm going to turn everything off for this and then say, add a scene. All right, so we got scene one and I'm gonna call it closed. Now I'm gonna come up here, toggle off closed, open up open and say plus to create a second scene, which I will now call open. Now, here's the, here's the easy part now. As I click through this, it doesn't matter where, again, because all this scene controls is these tags, toggling those tags on and off. Anywhere I'm at, I can quickly flip the pro properties here. Basically, I created properties and I can flip between open and closed. And it's really just kind of that simple. At this point, if I'm working on a model and I, and I have like a door in a building and I want to see what's going to look like open, what's going to look like closed. Uh, I can create that. It does add additional geometry here. So what I have number four is I have to turn on both of them on because if I turn both of them on, I see, oh, they're both in there. 
But as long as I use my, my tags or my, my scenes to toggle my tags, then I can just quickly flip, open and close. And again, it doesn't matter where I'm looking at it from. I can just quickly go back and forth just like that. So again, it is just showing the doors open and close. And that's all that is. I could in theory uh, export an animation, but all that animation is going to be is here, then here. And if you loop it here, <laughs> so not really an exported an animation I want to export, but for the purposes of modeling and seeing this model in different states, it makes it really easy uh, to just click and change those properties. So this is a workflow that could be used in a lot more, obviously, you know, modeling a ghost trap. If you have to do that, you're set. But uh, like I said, it could be used for doors, garage door, once you open, closed. Um, some people will go through and I could actually make like five copies of those doors here, 30 percent, 40 percent or 30 degree angle, 45 degree angle, 60 degree angle, 90 degree angle and create uh, tags and scenes for each of those and actually export that as an animation with like, you know, 0.1 second between the two and then it'll, it'll actually show kind of stop motion animation of it opening and closing. That's an option too. You can do that. Um, I really wanted to show the ability to just switch in, switch views of things. The thing to remember is that geometry that you're animating, those doors I created, those doors are in there twice. So not a big deal. I can make them a component and make it, you know, help maintain my model size. But if you're going to have a whole bunch of animations and you do this for multiple pieces, you do want to be conscious of how many pieces you make. So like, do I want to do it at one degree so it moves real smooth? Sure. But I remember I'm going to have a big model then because I'm going to have 90 copies of those doors. So 180 of those doors are going to be in there. Uh, you could do it though. It is possible. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week around here and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please do leave us a comment down below. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.